On this episode, we talk about Gouda. All right, there we go, that's a good start. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Mythco TV. This is episode three, and today we're gonna to be talking about a whole new range of cheeses we have available in our store. So, as what I said in our introduction, we have three new types of Gouda. Smoked Gouda, Goat Gouda, Buffalo Gouda, and Cow Gouda. And as I just found out about five minutes ago, there's actual creature called a buffalo. Thought they were extinct. He learned something new every day, really. We now have a Cypress-style halloumi. Uh, if you've grown up in the Middle East or anywhere around it, you'd probably have seen, you know, your parents eat this about 45 times a week. So in terms of recipes, guys, there is a fantastic new app out there. It's called Pinterest. If you haven't heard of it already, I suggest you use the internet more often. Now on Pinterest, if you open it up, you type in Gouda cheese recipes and you're going to come up with about 11,000 of them. So most popular comes up first. Couple of, couple of ideas with these cheeses. Smoky Gouda mac and cheese. My wife has made that before, it is quite good. Scrolling through even more. Smoked Gouda grilled cheeses. Also, we'll show, you, uh, we'll show you some of this. This stuff fries real well, but anyway, back to Gouda. Uh, Gouda reworks really, really well in fondue. If you're looking for something good in a fondue, a smoked Gouda would probably be your best choice. All right, guys, so we've cut little pieces off all four of these Goudas, and now I'm gonna try them all. So the first one we have here is the goat. So let's give this a try. Wow, that is really, really strong. It's quite dry as well. Hmm. Yeah, wow. That is a really, really strong cheese. That's not really my thing. And uh, that's all I'm gonna say about it. So let's move on to the buffalo. So texture-wise on this buffalo, it is already a lot softer, a lot more rubbery, a lot more bendy. So this might be a better choice for kind of stuff on pizza or melting down even. Let's give this a try. Already. A lot easier to eat. It's actually surprisingly smooth. It has like a really strong kick to it. It's actually really, really nice. Almost a bit spicy. I quite enjoyed that. So the next one we have is a smoked Gouda. And again, same sort of texture and feel as the Buffalo. Smell-wise, you have that really rich, smoky texture which I really, really like. Let's give it a taste. Mm. As soon as you put it in your mouth, you can really, really taste that like strong, smoky taste. Wow, that was actually really, really good. And last but not least, we have the cow. So, kind of, I just realized all these goodies have this very soft, rubbery texture except the goat, which is, seems to be quite hard. I guess if that's your thing, really. Let's, let's give this a taste. Hmm. So, slightly different to the buffalo. It's definitely less strong. I'm not a huge cheese fan, so, I find that the cow seemed to taste, you know, a bit smoother than the, the buffalo. So if I was to describe cow gouda, I would say the closest thing to it is mozzarella cheese. It has that like nice rubberiness to it, which I like. And um, as soon as you start, you know, it is a slightly chewy, which is quite good. Um, I think that, would, that grilled would taste really, really nice. But um, yeah, I don't think we have enough time in this segment to do it. But uh, I'll definitely release some pictures to Instagram or something like that. 
All right, so let's move on and uh, let's try out this halloumi cheese. I'm gonna show you what a really common way to eat this is, and it's just, you know, kind of pan fried, get it nice and crispy and give it a try. So let's go check it out. So guys, after frying up some halloumi cheese, let's give it a try and see what it tastes like. So already, you get that really, really strong salty taste coming through, which is, you know, classic halloumi really. When you fry it, the outside gets really, really a real crispy outside and still remains like nice and soft on the inside, kind of like melts in your mouth. It's like a, a really, really familiar taste, I'd say, and really reminds you of home. So guys, that about wraps it up for episode three of Mifco TV. Definitely come on down and try out some of our new flavors of cheeses. Uh, this obviously adds to our extensive range of other cheeses that we have. Um, if you do guys have any specific questions, or anything like that uh, feel free to drop us a message on Facebook Instagram so that's all from me guys enjoy the rest of your week I'll catch you in the next one